meeting to order, Miami Township Board of Trustees on February 21st, 2024. We have a few guests. Could I ask you to say your names? Alex Bright, Yellow Springs Chamber of Commerce. George Paul, Yellow Springs. Fred Stockwell, Miami Township. Uh, Scott Fife, Yellow Springs resident. Lauren Chaz, Yellow Springs News. Thank you for being here. I would entertain a motion to adopt minutes of February 5th. I second, I mean, I move that we adopt the minutes. I'll second that. Any changes to the printed copy we have? I found them to be um, excellent and, and no need of change. Can we call the roll? It's been moved and seconded to adopt the minutes of the February 5th, 2024 meeting. Uh, Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Minutes are approved? Yes. Uh, Trustee Mutcher is not here today. I'd entertain a motion to approve payment of bills totaling $39,918.93 from the general fund, $5,638.11 from the fire fund, zero from the EMS billing, $29,248.87 from the cemetery fund, $20 road and bridge, $5,011.91 uh, Mine says 95, but just four cents. Where? Oh, 95, okay. Uh, I moved that. Corrected. I move that we um, pay the bills. I'll second that. Any discussion? It's been moved and seconded to approve payment of bills in the amount of $39,918.93 as enumerated. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motion to approve. Uh, was there in the listed correspondence anything that will uh, merit new business, old business? Um, well, since Alex is in the room, you sent us something and it looked like sponsorship levels. Never mind, we'll talk, I'll read it. I'll oh, read it. Okay. Okay. It was, uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Um, Oh, there's a local government conference, which I could go to it. My daughter's in Spring Bay. Um, Ashley Caldwell got back for us on any broadband, but I'm not ready to um, make a motion for that yet. Um, that's about it. Any items that the public want to add to the agenda today? Our fire department, our fire chief is sick, and so I will postpone discussing his sick days policy change suggestion. <laughs> uh, Would you like me to read his uh, memo, or do we have to? He, he sent it. I don't. Uh, yes, that would be great. Okay, we've had 28 EMS calls since our last meeting, that's two weeks ago. Seven fire. And um, mutual aid was requested. And For how many times? I don't know, it's, it, one for fire and one for EMS. Okay. Twice. Um, yeah, vehicle repair update, ouch. Um, our med account report. That's about it. It's pretty slim. I just know we had a lot of truck repairs. I got that email. So that's uh, nothing dramatic from Cemetery Road, except we did have snow, and so there was. It's really, I guess, the only third time this year that we've had any winter snow work, even even counting just salt. Um, I, I guess we'll have a pile of salt to 
next year. Use next year. Yeah. Right. Um, I didn't. Know, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't have any details on cemetery. We'll just roll that forward to the next meeting. Okay. No resolutions from the I fiscal officer. This is the fiscal officer report. I did not see a resolution from her this time. Okay. Standing committee reports. Well, let me take mine first. I um, have none from NVRPC. Um, the development corporation seat was, I came in the middle of it, it had some big brainstorming going on about the, um, and we're very enthusiastic about the community solar and, and new ideas they have and um, a lot of confidence about the second phase of the grant and that's all I know about, about them. They were um, doing well. That is, my memory is, is working on using a hundred thousand dollar grant currently and in line for a two hundred thousand dollar grant that could lead to a third grant that would subsidize an installation a lot of good people on the committee so hopefully um i did not attend the environmental commission and um green county township association not much to say they're not a, oh yeah there is something under that um well, that's that's under that's under new business. So, anything going on at the township association? You were there. Nothing else. Besides a very good dinner cooked for us by the, the kids at the career center. It's the very first time I've been to yeah. the career center, and it's beautiful and gigantic. They they serve salmon and chicken masala. Mm -hmm. Pe also. People may not be aware that monthly there is a gathering of tr township trustees from around the county. Fiscal. And and well, fiscal officers and anyone who wants to be an auxiliary member can pay fifteen dollars, and then each monthly meal is free. So fifteen dollars for twelve. And we also have a meeting. Oh, yeah, we we also have a meeting. Uh, and this next month, it will be a report from the county engineer. So that tends to be much better attended. Uh, I have a report from the Clifton Union Cemetery. We, we learned of this a few years ago, but uh, it's finally gone through probate. And we've been given a house in Clark County. Uh, someone who's buried in Clifton Cemetery uh, willed their house uh, to form an endowment for the cemetery. And so we are putting the house up for sale. On, Route 72. Um, Is that it? No, I'm just kidding. That we typically, our township puts in, I think it may be as much as 15000 a year, and then I mean, Union, or rather Green Township, uh, also puts in that much, and that pays for mowing and uh, we have one building there for our maintenance. And that will go down with the establishment of this endowment. Uh, no other standing committee reports? Not I. New business, participation in the OTA webinar on demand subscription. Yes. Um, remind me what this is. Um, OTA, who is a great educator, Ohio Township Association, um, if we want to take some of their um, continuing education, we used to pay like 25 bucks each time or whatever, each of us individually for individual. Now we can buy, for $250, we can have their whole, all of their classes. And if, and if we all agree, if all the 12 townships in Green County agree to go in together, we can get it for $175. So we're supposed to approve this and let them know we want to participate. Would you like to make a motion? I'd like to make a motion that we um, subscribe to the OTA webinar on demand for $250 possibly to be um, 
reduced to 175, but you just put two. I will I'll second that motion. Uh, so moved and seconded to participate in the OTA webinar on demand subscription at 250, is that annual 250? I assume it will be. Okay. Yep. $250, be possibly 125 if all counts. One, possibly 175. 175? If but all the, townships mm -hmm. in Green County participate. Uh, Ms. Moore. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. The motion is approved. And then? Uh, the broadband, we're going to. The broadband? Wait. Yeah. Or um, Ashley Caldwell got back to me and she cleared it and she says we're good to go with that so I'll, I'll get back in touch with those guys and see. So we'll have a contract so, at our next meeting, likely. That could happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Cynthia, I don't, I don't know if that's real. Well, you can write whatever you want. I don't, it's, it's really no news. Okay. Well, should we have 20 minutes of meditation or should we adjourn the meeting? We could ask one more time if the public wants to. Fred? I notice difficulty reading the minutes of the last meeting because they're not available until you approve of them at the next meeting. We have that same hmm, a dilemma for public participation in my mind that we don't know what you decided that you said last meeting until tomorrow or the next day after yeah. the next meeting when your minutes have been approved a meeting later and that works somewhat in the zoning commission too and I, I don't know a way to resolve that or whether that's even a problem from the township's point of view but from a an individual's point of view, I wanted to review the minutes before I came to the meeting today to remind me what you did last time. And of course, you're not approving them until today. Uh, I'm just bringing it up as an a, a interested party's dilemma that may not be any of your problem, but it's, it seems to me that it could be a public problem public participation problem, it, it seems to me. Now maybe that's not valid from many other considerations you have that I don't know about. But. There's probably other people in the room who know how it's usually done. That, uh, that's most, pretty common. Uh, uh, West, we, me and Don started, um, I posted what the topics we were gonna talk about at the meeting. And I would have done the same thing this week, but. There was nothing. nothing. <laughs> but I should have put that. No, no um, special topics or something. Now, typically, the news report is a week after the meeting. If we report on it. If you report, yes. So don't trust us. <laughs> don't trust us. The, the risk of posting the draft minutes is that there was a mistake. However, mm -hmm. you probably know within 48 hours, maybe not, after this meeting, you probably could know within 48 hours what the draft would look like if, if an email was available only to those who are township trustees of what the draft would be. It takes a little bit longer than that. Okay. But I under, point, point taken, but just so you know, it does take if me a little If that draft long. were available, one could give an opinion of, hey, three days ago I said that. Three days ago I did not say that. Three days ago, I, that wasn't really part of our meeting. Or yes, that was all part of the meeting. And in my imagination, one of three people, or however that needs to be for the township, could say, yes, this draft is okay, or no, this section, blah, 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 and that section, so, 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 and it might be another three or seven days, but it could theoretically, in my idea, um, have occurred that the township trustees had agreed upon a set of minutes 
before the next meeting. I yeah, we can't officially agree on the minutes until we have a public meeting. Ah. Uh, the now I don't know that you want to spend an hour and twenty minutes reviewing <laughs> the video, but oh, good point. Thank I will you. often go like to village council uh, and just skim through, and then oh, there that's a topic I did want to follow up on. So I'll go back a couple minutes. This is uh, Thank you. on YouTube. Maybe I should put more yeah. so it's, into that. Yeah. It's a different. It's different than scanning a written document, but I can scan a video. Uh, I've been getting him up close I, to the close to the next day. Yeah, and I don't think that don't there's a video of the zoning committee's meetings, but okay. Yeah. You, you've made me aware of things I should do more diligently. Thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to say, for whatever it's worth, uh, from my recent experience as a member of the school board, they have a system in place where the minutes come out, members of the board and the administration get, them, get access to them first, and then a couple of days before the meeting, they're posted on the website where the press and everybody else can not only see the agenda for the next meeting, but what the minutes from the last meeting were and all the other documents that are, you know, slated to be on the agenda, if that's... I, I, I understand you're, you, there's not a direct comparison between the trustees, board of trustees and the school board, but... Well, if, if we did have draft minutes available, I would want bold letters saying draft. We can put a water put a, a shadow across. I mean if you want if you want that to happen, that can be done. I know the village does something similar too where, you know, they I think it's like the Thursday before or the Tuesday before the meeting, they'll put the agenda out and there's usually a hyperlink to the minutes from the last meeting that are being approved at that meeting. Mm -hmm. Well okay. let's, I, I'll talk, I'm, I'm let's talk. see what Chris our, our missing colleague thinks, and um, uh, and I'll ask him. I'll ask the, the school board people that I'm close to how they do it. Maybe there's some sort of online. There is. Okay. Um, the school board uses board docs. Yeah. Board docs. Yeah. I, I mean, really more more. I was thinking more of online process for mm -hmm. for okaying them, or do they do they post draft minutes? It, draft. It's a draft. Okay. It's not officially approved okay. into the meeting. That's that's that seems very doable. Thank you. Thank you. I, I apologize because I should get this. Here. Where can I find the minutes or the meeting agenda before um, the meeting? Before the meeting, well, if it's on the website, it is on page what? The, the front, the front page of the website. We okay. we were we had planned to just post the topics, not mm -hmm. the not this you know thing, the whole yeah, just the, what what we're meeting about. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says next meeting is this date. Do you have topics? Perfect. I'll just comment that when I first came on trustees six years ago, the the newspaper didn't cover the meetings, and no one came. It's on the day of the cable. It's changed a bit. Oh, I noticed. Uh, so I'm glad that there's more attention. But nothing's happening. <laughs> Are there Not other tonight. topics? Not today. Not tonight, but certainly a lot know. of things happening. <laughs> you paid the bills, that happened. Yeah, that happened. 28 fire uh, rescue operations went out. Seven People were five. buried in the cemetery. What do you Seven mean nothing's five. happening? Uh, um, any other topics? I have one. Yes. I move that we adjourn. <laughs> I'll declare this meeting adjourned. Okay. Thank you all for coming. My kind of meeting.